So there is strain eruption, strain fever, strain consume, and strain infected. Uh, the weird thing is, deadly efficiency, arc gun ace, critical focus, sabot rounds. I wonder what sabot rounds is like, considering the only place to get it seems to be uh, phase 3 of the profit taker. And it is a 15 point mod. 15 points to fit this thing. It's just remember that. Normal rubido lined barrel is 100% extra damage. This, on the other hand, is 60. And it will add punch through. So swapping these two round would be kind of daft. Because 15 point mod, 11 point mod. Obviously any other mods that add a lot of damage are going to be kind of rubbish, but fitting this thing and keeping any kind of damage is next to impossible really, where we can change the extant extended magazine and you can see the difference just putting this thing in here, just kind of, I don't like losing that many magazines because the reload speed on Orkwing guns is kind of bad to begin with so this was the first one that I could find that I can actually fit this in because it's the only one I've formatted but putting that in here made a huge difference 495 versus 380 it added 150 well 104 yeah 115.2 extra elemental damage yeah this thing might actually end up being worth it what it's not worth is the grind to get this thing to drop. I eventually, after many months since this was actually added back in December, gave up actually trying to form this thing and get this thing to actually drop and ended up doing something that I've never really had to do before for certain mods. Let's just put that into a better kind of visual thing for you. The Elemental mods that add 120% elemental stuff instead of the 90 normal ones do, but these things are meant to be harder hitting weapons. 9 point mod. The dual stat mods that add an element and status chance. 7. Uh, 7. I should probably swap these out and increase the status on this, but I kind of built this more towards the crit. And yes, there is an empty slot. I do still have work to do on my Hawkwing guns. Uh, Status chances 9. There is no mods for this gun bigger than this, apart from the automatic trigger, which... Nope, that's a 15 point mod as well. This thing, I just, I couldn't get over the fact that it was a 15 point mod, but it ended up being worth it, because once you actually put the thing in here, and the Imperator Vandal, by no means of the fact, was an amazing weapon. It's not a good weapon. It is a good weapon. Sorry. It's not an amazing weapon. It's just kind of an okay weapon. Can be made to be pretty good. When it comes to some of the other Arcwing weapons, yeah, I'm still planning on doing the... probably the... yeah. You know what? Whoa. The Jewel Decurions. I was just gonna throw it in here, but um, yeah. Ah, uh, this needs a lot of work. Video on this coming soon? The Fluctus. This thing as well. Putting it on this, yes, okay, you can see what I had to do was take out the extended magazine so it lost nearly half of its rounds. It did lose a bit of magnetic damage as well, which I cannot understand. That one makes no sense to me. The magnetic damage went down by increasing the damage. Can anybody figure out how changing one mod turned this thing into a... It's gone again! What? What? I didn't lose it. There it is. I was in... I was going to demonstrate it here, but it's better there. Uh, if you take out the extended magazine and throw this in, you'd lose a little bit of magazine, but the damage went up quite a bit for everything. And this has kind of an innate punch through anyway, so throwing it on this was a complete waste of time. But even here, I noticed a massive difference in the way that this thing worked, the damage it would do. It actually became more usable, but this is the only one I've thrown any kind of work into because leveling an arc wing gun can be just a pain because 
you've got to summon it and when you run out of ammo you have to wait 10 minutes before you can summon it, sorry, 5 minutes before you can summon it again. It's just painful. Worth it? Yes. Worth the farm or buying it with platinum? Kind of. If you like using Arkwing guns or fighting the old mothers then yes, this mod was definitely worth it and I kind of started this video by regretting picking this thing up or paying to pick this thing up I should say but honestly it does make enough of a difference to kind of justify it but I kind of wish that it would have dropped like everybody else does some mods are just a pain to get it's not the only one I have I did go back and double check there I do have the ace one I can't even remember the name of it anymore but we'll leave this off here for now thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time